Hello everyone, my name is Noor Maidan, a student at Dahran Ahliya School. I have created this video for my senior project. My topic evolves around xeroderma pigmentosum. Many people don't know about it as it is really rare. Myel is a term that I would like to use to refer to children diagnosed with xeroderma pigmentosum, simply known as XP. XP is an inherited skin condition known for its severe sensitivity from the UV rays. A moon child should not be exposed to the sunlight, specifically the UV rays, as being exposed makes them prone to catching different types of skin cancer. XP has many types, eight types to be exact. Each type has different risks and different clinical features. There is a reason why I chose xeroderma pigmentosum for my senior project. It's because I know a case, personally, that has been diagnosed with XP. She is my cute young niece, Dana. Dana was diagnosed with XP by the age of 3 in 2017. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have known about it, as it is really rare. According to Healthline, XP affects one person out of 250,000 people worldwide and one in a million in Europe and United States. Today, we will be meeting a young child that has been diagnosed with xeroderma pigmentosum, type C. Type C represents about 25% of the patients with xeroderma pigmentosum until now. Before we meet our moon child for the day, let me give you some brief introduction about her. Dana was born like any normal child. She has lived the first three years of her life with nature, loving to go to the playground to play. But the more she was exposed to the sun, the more changes in her skin was found. As you can see in the pictures of her early childhood, there wasn't any white nor brown spots to be found. At first, doctors thought it was freckles or her melanin is low, reassuring her mother that it would fade away by its own. Those spots were increasing day by day without showing any signs of fading. Her mother was concerned, so she took her back to the hospital and thankfully an honorable doctor recognized what she had the doctor requested for a test to be done before he concluded that dana has xp type c can you please Introduce yourself. Tell me what's your name. My name is Dana Hila. How old are you, Dana? Eight. You're eight? Dana, can you tell me why can't you get out in the sun? Because I'm, I'm allergic from the sun. What do you wear when you want to go out in the sun? I wear my hat and I wear my gloves and I wear my glasses and I put my sunscreen. Oh, so you put your sunscreen? Where do you put your sunscreen? I put my sunscreen on my face and my hands. Mm. Do you like it when people ask you why you wear these clothes? Yes. Why? <laughs> because they know about me why do I wear the clothes. So what is that thing you're holding? Uh, this is a device because for the... Because they, they know when I remove my stuff. How do you know when to remove your stuff? Appears zero. Was there a time that you didn't want to leave the house because it was hot? Yeah. When you stay at home, what do you usually do? Like, what are your hobbies? What do you like? Uh, I put makeup and I I put makeup and I like to dance and I like to sing and I play with my Lego, my makeup, my Barbies and even I paint. You like to paint? Yes. Yeah. I see that you're putting on some makeup. Did you put it yourself? Yes. It's really nice. Thank you. Okay, moving on to introducing the mother. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Batul Maidan. Um, when was Dana diagnosed with XP? Uh, she was diagnosed when she was four years old. <laughs> When did you realize that there was something going on with Dana? Uh, at first, when she was two, there was white freckles in her skin. I took her to the hospital to see dermatology. 
uh, but they didn't know what's the problem. They said that it's uh, some pigmentation, that there is no colors in her skin. And it might go when she grows uh, grow up or it might stay. Um, later, when she was four years, uh, I noticed that her eyes became uh, red and it's not going. So I took her to the eye doctor mm. and when the doctor saw her, he recommended that I need to check dermatology again. And that's when uh, the physical, uh, <coughs> the clinical, uh, uh, the clinical said that she has XP. So we, we did further testing and investigation and uh, it was confirmed that she has XP type C. Uh, you mentioned that um, there was some white freckles on her skin. So was it the very first symptom that you noticed? Yes, it was the first symptom. Uh, where did it start? Like, was it her face, her hands? Where was it exactly? Uh, it was mainly in the area that's exposed to the sun, uh, her face, uh, her legs, and her arms. Um, what were your thoughts upon hearing the diagnosis? Well, it was the first time I heard it, so I didn't know anything about it. So I did my research. I read on the internet. I started searching for charities around the world to understand the <coughs> the case and finally I found a charity called TED Trust in London where, where I once, once I told them about the case and the, the testing uh, they provide me with the, the protective gear, the, the visor, the hat, gloves and uh, what I need to do to protect her from the sun from the UV rays, even in the house, that I need to put, that I need to close all the windows, put uh, blackout or or films for the for the window, so it will be, so it will block the UV A and B from entering the house. Uh, you mentioned that the organization was from London. Yes. Um, why did you go to London exactly? Why did you not start by searching for organizations here in Saudi Arabia? There is no organization in the Middle East. Um, was your family and friends supportive with Dana's situation? Of course, everyone was supportive. Uh, and even they protected uh, their houses whenever I come to visit. And I really appreciate it. Um, how does Dana spend her time at home and school um, with the old protection? Well, mainly at home, she lived normal life. As long as there is no sun. Uh, she can do whatever she likes and at school uh, she need to be protected uh, even when she go around the school from from the class to the library to the gym she need to wear all of her clothes before leaving the class um, was there a time when Dana's replies to other people especially children made you proud or like um, happy in any kind of way Yes, uh, of course. Uh, whenever sh someone uh, look at her or ask her about anything, she said, uh, "I'm okay. I'm allergic. I have all the allergies from the sun, so it's fine." What uh, school does Dana attend? She attends the Ahly School. Um, how did they help you in any kind of way? Well, when she was in KG, uh, they put her in a class where in the class where there is no sun, and they protected the playground. They put some uh, shield, uh, and the same thing. Whenever she goes to any to f to the next level for the her class, like uh, KG three first grade, they put her always in a class that there is no sun. In it. Is there anything that you would like to tell people that doesn't know about Dana's situation, like especially about uh, Geroderma? Well, mainly I would like to tell them that people with Geroderma. They can live a normal life if there is the correct protected measure is done. And we need to, to have more awareness about it because some families maybe they have the same issue but they don't know what is it. And there is no organization here in the middle in Saudi or in the Middle East that is talking about it. Like for me, it was the first time I heard about it when she has some signs. Otherwise I wouldn't know that she has experience. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate you doing the interview and thank you Dana for being here today.
By now, you might be wondering how to prevent XP from happening and what are the causes of XP. As stated before, XP is an inherited skin condition. If a consanguineous marriage happens, the possibility of giving birth to a child with XP increases. So to prevent it from happening, a pre-marriage blood test is essential. And if there is any doubt about XP or any other diseases, further genetic tests should be taken. Why is the blood test and genetic test important, you might ask? Those specific tests indicate whether the two people having the test are a good match with the term of genes. Getting the test done can help you see the risks and type of illnesses that you might face after giving birth. Your decision after the results are out determines your child's future. In conclusion, XP is an extreme sensitivity from the UV rays, and it's really rare. People with XP live a normal life. The only difference is that they need to protect themselves from the UV rays. So please don't think that having XP could be an issue that prevents you from living a normal life. One last thing that I'd like to add is the importance of knowing your family's history and illnesses to help prevent your future children from having any genetic diseases. And I'd really like to thank you all for listening.